The knife sheath making has turned out really well. I'm really pleased with the results. I made previously a knife sheath for a utility knife uh, and it was so popular that I've had a request to make more knife sheaths. So I'm just going to do some videoing and show you progress as I go. So that is the design template and I'll take you along on the journey as I make more knife sheaths for those utility knives. This is a template that I've made using this knife sheath and I'm changing the design rather than having the belt go through loops here. I'm going to loop the leather over and create the belt loop here and that'll be an update. Back with some cut leather and using leather that was available I uh, cut out a handful of templates and patterns uh, so that I can start punching and stitching and sewing to make leather sheaths for, uh, for these utility knives. So the wind was blowing and the voice recording that I made as I was doing the stitching of the leather was covered up with wind noise. So I'm doing a short voiceover uh, through part of the project and mostly would say that as I'm going through the stitching and going through all the steps and phases of assembling the, the knife sheaths, there is an element of paying attention to the process. There's an element of learning as a person goes. There's an element of almost meditative uh, mindfulness that happens with a hands-on project. As I work on these crafts and projects, this is partly a journal or travel log of projects that I'm working on. And it's less of, of my trying to provide a tutorial that would be expert level craftsmanship tutorial and more of a example of if I can do this, other people can do this. And for this to be an encouragement for people uh, like yourself to say, well, gosh, I could be part of that. I could work on a project. Uh, you could record, post to YouTube. You could simply do it because of the enjoyment and for the satisfaction of the finished material of whatever it is that you're making. So as I go through, uh, I'm not going to fully describe all the different steps of the processes I'm making these knife sheaths. Uh, simply made for a friend who had a knife similar in size to the, to the example I showed you at the beginning and making these almost to see like how much do I enjoy the leather working? Is this something I want to do more of? And it may become something that, that I offer later on, uh, for now, simply a hobby. And the recording on YouTube is simply an expression of, hey, everybody, here's a hobby that I'm enjoying and a bit of the process. As we live in a digital world where so much is at our fingertips on our phone, Sometimes to be able to bring the real life hands on crafts and hobbies into something that can be shared uh, feels a little more meaningful than than just turning the phone off and putting it away and doing a hands on project by myself. So I'm hoping that everyone's enjoying that there's stuff being posted. Some of you may see it as educational and may look for ideas along the way. And you may notice things in the way that I craft and say, oh, that's how he did that. For others of you, it may be almost like a peek into someone's journal and the adventure of seeing like, oh, that's, that's what he's working on and wondering what's gonna be next and some of the adventure along the way. And for other people, uh, 
I've been told the ASMR is very popular. And while that isn't one of my goals right now, I've considered that perhaps the speaking portion of the audio could be a little bit more storytelling. And well, this the aim of this is not storytelling. Uh, you are seeing a story unfold as the leather is uh, made into its shapes, it's cut out, it's punched, stitched, as the edges are being burnished and as the leather is being wet and molded. And the combination of all of those steps come together like a story. And as the finished product looks the way that it does, that would be like a, a well-crafted story where each of the pieces have their place and do their job and it all comes together. And with that, I will leave you to watch the rest of the video uh, as I finish the knife sheaths. Uh, as I finish up, there are, there are two in this project and one of them is made with a cow hide with the fur still on it and as it's shown you'll you'll notice and the other one is uh, a stained leather uh, dyed a light brown and so the leather of the sheath that has fur on it will be stained with a dark brown and then using the fur and the one that I originally started the stitching on is dyed light brown. So with those little pieces, uh, that would be what I have for the video today. And hope you enjoy.